game last night, lots to talk about. And, I, it, you know, the thing that happened at the end is what sort of trumped it all. And that was Dylan Larkin with a minute 20 to go or whatever it was, uh, making a spectacular hustle play. The Kings are up 4-3. Goalie is pulled for Detroit. Extra attacker is on, and Victor Arvidsson is walking in on the empty net. He gets the puck around the blue line, takes two strides, kind of settles in to take the shot, and Larkin catches up, dives, and knocks the puck away. And I remember at the time saying, wow, what a play. We should talk about this tomorrow regardless of the outcome of the game. Even if the Wings don't score here with the extra attacker, this is a big-time play for a variety of reasons, and we'll get into it, but this is awesome. You know, uh, it probably won't lead to anything because the Wings had to gather the puck, and then they had 60 seconds to go, and they brought it up the ice. And then David Perron found uh, Sonny, Oscar Sunkist on the doorstep, who did a little spin around and uh, and slammed at home for the game-tying goal to force overtime, which means the Red Wings stole a point because Dylan Larkin hustled his ass yeah. off. Now, we can make the case, and probably a pretty strong case, that if everything were reversed and Dylan Larkin picked up the puck at the blue line and Arvidsson caught up to him, that we were like, why didn't you shoot it as soon as you had it on your forehand, which Arvidsson did, but closer to the blue line. But nonetheless, he didn't shoot it. And that was probably why he was they kept showing tight shots of him on the bench and he was MFing himself. Yeah. Um, but But it's... About Dylan Larkin, remember Steve Eiserman made him earn the captain's yeah. C? Yeah, well, there it is. And, you know, I've heard stories about Dylan growing up and Dylan, you know, morphing into this role. And we have got a high-profile Red Wing right now that has been told by the previous staff and has now been told by the new staff who's been here for about 30 minutes. It's about your play when you don't have the puck. And Philip Zadina was in uniform last night. Philip Zadina sees this play by Dylan Larkin. And, you know, there was something else that happened after that play. So they get the wings, get the tying goal, and they go to a tight shot of the bench, and Larkin's, you know, just kind of talking and everything, you know, very straight-faced, like trying to keep – I mean, he's, you know, they're focused on the task at hand, which is to win the game in overtime, which they didn't do, uh, thanks to a really unlucky bounce. But anyway, yeah, they didn't do it. And then all of a sudden, somebody said something, and Larkin burst out laughing. And the fact that he burst out laughing made me think, you know, this whole winning thing, this whole hot start, which they kind of got off to last year, but for the Red Wings that have been around, any compete beyond trying to stay out of the basement or beyond, like, competing – it's going to be so much fun for these guys because it's going to be new and exciting. And when you're 2-0 and and it forced overtime, you feel like you're competing. It doesn't matter who you're playing against. It doesn't matter how early it is. They are going to lean into any compete that they have for anything. Right, right now they're a point out of first. <laughs> uh, and so it's like me with my Giants. Yeah, I, do I think it's going to last? Honestly, I'm skeptical. But I'm going to lean into it while we're still here. And I think the Red Wings and the young guys and the guys that have been around and have struggled, they brought in a bunch of adults, as I said yesterday, Gator, and they're helping them compete like an NHL team, like a competent NHL team. And I think I think Larkin and anybody who's been around, I mean, Sider was only here one year, but maybe even Zadina, if he can, and Rasmussen, and where, when things were lean, they're going to love this. They're going to love this if they can Stick around. Stick well, around. half the roster last night that suited up for last night's game was new. Half, right? Ten new guys. It's uh, it, it's it's incredible to see that kind of a turnover from one season to the next. But it was necessary. I thought you said it best yesterday that they finally got some adults on the team, and you know here they are. They're they're changing things up. It's a way too early in the season to to project what they're going to be, but the way they're playing hockey. They don't look like, oh, we're trying to work this guy into the lineup and he can get some chemistry. I mean, these guys are already stepping into the lineup. They look like they played with each other um, on, on the same lines for a long time. This right. is, I like watching this team because you've got veterans that they added. They're, just, they're the good veterans that they added as opposed to the stop gaps. These are guys 
that I expect to take this team to another level, not just be here and hold a spot until maybe we can, you know, produce somebody from Grand Rapids that's ready to, to jump in. I really like what we've seen from from all these guys, whether it's Cop or, or, or Perrin or uh, Kubalik, whatever. I mean, Sunkfist, as you man- mentioned, and, you know, the defense is, is half new as well. Sherratt, Mata. I mean, they, these guys, these guys look- know how to pl- They know how to play NHL hockey. Yeah. And, no, they didn't bring in Connor McDavid. <laughs> no, they Not didn't. Yet. <laughs> they didn't have some big name brought in, but these guys can play. And it, I think it's really, it's potentially, this could be a really, really interesting season. A really interesting season. It, it could be fun. It could be fun. But that play last night, I mean, it was it was ridiculous. It was just a great hustle play. And, yeah, I'm sure that the, the Kings player is kicking himself for, for not shooting it right away. Arvidsson. But, hey, it happened. Larkin made the play. And, I don't know, I had flashbacks to Tayshawn Prince wiping out Reggie Miller in the playoffs because it was the same thing. I mean, Reggie Miller's got this breakaway. Just, you know, you could lay it in and waits to the last second, and here comes Tayshawn from out of nowhere and blocks it, saves it, and the Pistons go on and, and, you know, advance, right? Yeah. It, it, It had that same kind of feel to it. It was awesome.